Hello everyone, welcome to ENA, Environmental News Analysis. In this session on ENA, we are going to discuss some things related to cyclone. So what is that? It's important to note that there is a new list of cyclone names that have been provided by Indian Meteorological Department. So let's talk about it. Remember, Titli, Gaja, Fani, Vayu, Bulbul. All these names have been common. Why? Because the usage of these short distinct names of tropical cyclones over the northern Indian Ocean became increasingly frequent over past few years. So now earlier list of 64 cyclone names proposed back in the year 2004 got exhausted and then that's why new list has been published and remember it's important that Gati is the next name waiting for its turn after Nisarga is already exhausted. Now, it's important to note that it was only after World War II that a formal naming system was introduced. Earlier, the practice of naming tropical cyclones is said to be initiated by well-known meteorologist Clement Raj. So, it was important in 19th century and in the beginning, storms were named arbitrarily. For instance, a storm over the Atlantic in 1842 was named as Angie's Hurricane because it ripped off the mast of a boat, simply the mast of a boat named Angie. So remember, the formal naming started only after World War II. So this is the list that Indian Meteorological Department has provided and remember, it has 169 names from the 16 countries, from the 13 countries. So, what are the countries? Bangladesh, India, Iran, Maldives, Myanmar, Oman, Pakistan, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Sri Lanka, Thailand, UAE and Yemen. So, these are 13 countries and 13 names from each country has been tabulated here and you can see 169 cyclone names. So, now let's understand that there are 6 regional specialized meteorological centers, RSMCs they are called and five regional tropical cyclone warning centers TCWCs. So these are two centers important across the globe to monitor cyclogenesis that is the formation of these cyclones and they issue advisories and names of cyclones as we know. So IMD that is India's meteorological department that is regional center is in New Delhi is one among all of the organizations that provide advisories to the 13 countries that we saw, right? So, RSMC, Regional Specialized Meteorological Center, New Delhi, is also responsible for naming cyclones over Bay of Bengal and Arabian Sea. Now, the names for India that has been proposed is Gati, Tej, Murasu, Ag, Vyom, Jhar, Prabaho, Neer, Prabhanjan, Ghurni, Ambud, Jaladhi and Vega. So these are the names provided by India in the list. So that's important. Now, moreover, as per World Meteorological Organization guidelines, if a cyclone is particularly deadly or costly, remember two important points here. If it is deadliest or it is the costliest, then remember cyclone names retire. Yes. Cyclone names retire because they will never be used again. Why? Because they were too deadly and too costly. So remember that is the important baseline. Now as per WMO records, what are the list of those retired cyclone names? So let's look here. Mangkut, that is Philippines. Irma and Maria, Caribbean. Hayan, the Philippines again. Sandy, USA. Katrina, USA, Mitch, Honduras, Tracy, that is Darwin, 1974. So these are certain names which have now retired. So remember the concept of retiring of cyclone names as well. Now in 2019, the Indian seas witnessed eight cyclonic storms as against the normal of five. So it was only in 1976 before that more than seven cyclones formed over the North Indian Ocean making 2019 a rare exception. So this was all about 
the cyclone names and the list in this session on ENA. Please like and subscribe to our channel, The Geoecologist. Stay safe.